What an exciting day for you it has been. Tell me how it's been so far. It's been a very humbling day. Uh, very feel very humble as well as blessed for this opportunity. And I'm grateful for the people of this county that has given me the opportunity to serve. Um, I was very impressed and humbled by the people that crossed over and voted outside of party lines that spoke volume to me. Um, and I'm just excited uh, to have the opportunity to serve the people of this county. And throughout the evening, when the day started, you, the board showed you had an early lead, and that didn't change much of the night. What was going through your head as you were seeing those numbers showing up? Well, you know, I saw the numbers uh, from the early voting, and I didn't really give the numbers much emphasis. What, was it, what I wanted to see was the final number, because that's the number that really matters. So I tried to remove myself from the numbers starting out high or in the lead and just waiting for the final number. But those numbers meant that the voters were giving you the validation. Put that into perspective. Well, you know, one of the things that, that I've always said when we enter this race is, is that I wanted to appeal to the people. I wanted the people to know that we can do this together. It wasn't about me. It wasn't about the uh, incumbent. It was about the people, the children, their grandchildren. Uh, and that's the message that we wanted them to, to feel and to see. That's why we spent hours going out into the streets, knocking on doors, the McDonald's, uh, the different places where people get a chance to meet, see, talk, and question. That way they would feel comfortable going into the booth, voting for someone that, not just a face that they saw, but someone they had engaged with, someone they had talked with, someone they had did their research on. This is your first run for public office and also another first for you as the first black sheriff for this county. Yes, ma'am. Uh, this is my first uh, run into politics, and yes, uh, I've been told that I'm the first black sheriff of, the, of Forsyth County. Uh, I've been told that from the beginning when we entered the race, but that wasn't my focal point. Uh, my focal point was winning the race and providing the best services to the people that we could. Uh, and I'm just happy and grateful and blessed to be in this position because I know that um, with that comes a lot of responsibilities. You know, when I look at the people, the people that I met on the trail, uh, I met Miss Claudia who lost her daughter Maddie. Uh, I spoke with her. I met with people who had lost their loved ones, their children, their siblings, their mothers and their fathers along the race. And it, 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 gave, it gave me the inspiration. It, it, it made me feel that I can't just run this race to run it. I've got to run this race, this race to change the atmosphere, to change what's happening. It's one of the things that we say that if we get into the atmosphere and change it, then we change the outcome. The people have given you the mandate. What are you going to do differently from the person who's holding this position right now? Well, the first thing we're going to do is that uh, we're going to go into the office and meet the people that work there and let them feel that their jobs are not threatened to where they can have um, a, a work environment where they don't feel that they're going to lose a job because a new administration is coming in. The next thing we're going to do is I spoke with the police chief uh, of the city, the police chief of Kernersville, and sit down with them and see what do they expect, how can we serve them better, and not only serve them better, but how can we serve the people of this county better by leveraging our resources, by partnering on several things, whether it be drug task force, gang task force, whether it be uh, um, crime prevention programs for the, the county and the city. I think that with the resources that are in this county, one of the best counties in the country as far as I'm concerned, there's nothing we can't do together, and that's the key together. All right, so those are all the questions that I have for you. Is there anything that you feel is important to add, especially at this moment? Well, first of all, I, I, it's the same thing I told the incumbent is that I wanted to thank him for the race that he ran. I wanted to thank him for the service, uh, not only that he's given this county for 16 years, but the service he's given the country as a former agent uh, myself. I know the sacrifices he's making. Uh, as I told him, I look forward to sitting down and talking with him during the transition, and I'm grateful for the service that he has provided. And not only that, I want to thank all of the citizens of this county who came out and voted uh, during the rain, who came out, uh, took time from a day to be a part of the process. Whether they were for me or against me, just grateful that they participated in the process. And I'm more grateful for those that voted and we came away. And I'm thankful that you're here this evening. And I thank all of the people. And I really want to say how much I'm uh, appreciative of what's going on. All right, thanks again, Mr. Kimbrough, and thank congratulations. You. Thank you, I appreciate it.